Welcome back my creepy beautiful people. Thank you all so much for your kind get well wishes last week when I was riddled with the worst man flu imaginable. I'm now almost back to 100% and definitely keen to pump out some videos for everybody. Thank you all very much. I definitely felt the love. Now it's time for Challenge Rift 58. So it's a necromancer class we're dealing with here and if you click on this soul mirror you can see all of the skills and items that we are dealing with today. Again it's another legacy of nightmares build so all of the other items should be ancient or primal ancient very nice so he's done a, a good job of that definitely getting all these ancients and primal ancients in there for that damage increase and damage reduction so for those of you that aren't aware the way this ring set works is if this is your only set bonus from any set items every ancient item that you have equipped increases the damage dealt by 100% and reduces your damage taken by 4% and that multiplies with each ancient item and this person this player has done a great job of making sure everything is ancient or primal ancient good job and there aren't really any special items here worth mentioning it's all pretty standard stuff the killer caress which while above 93% resource inc uh, reduces our damage taken by 50% uh, w w the witching hour is definitely a great belt for some damage increase pig sticker nothing special there freeze of deflection just a blocking gives us a chance to freeze the attacker for one point for 0 0.9 seconds, excuse me. Lyric's crown increases the effectiveness of the gem by 99% that's socketed in there. So nothing really that legendary special here that's going to increase skeletal mage damage all that much or anything like that. Which is why this build and this character isn't exactly very damaging it's not it hasn't got a good damage output in my opinion it's not the best but it does have really good survivability that's not going to be an issue in this challenge rift and looking at can ice cube here hack which gives us a 100 percent increase to our thorns damage heart of iron again gives us some thorns damage and the circle of naluge evolve now we get an extra skeletal mage when we cast one and they also last an additional four seconds and skeletal mages are pretty much our primary damage dealer here along with grim scythe now looking at the skills grim scythe definitely going to be using this after we get our maximum skeletal mages up which i believe is 10 that we can cast so when we run out of essence because we're casting skeletal mages and using bone armor then we're going to be using grim scythe when uh, we're killing elite packs and big dense packs and that'll give us That'll regenerate our essence very, very quickly, and we can just keep on casting Skeletal Mages. Make sure we have a maximum of 10 up, and then we're going to be damaging things pretty well. Like I said, the damage output isn't the best for this character, but it's definitely doable, and the Charge Rift is nice and easy. Skeletal Mages, we want to be casting whenever possible, especially when we're coming into packs, killing elites or dense packs. Cast, cast, cast. Make sure we get 10 Skeletal Mages up. Frailty is actually an aura curse, so we don't have to activate it at all. But when we are nearby enemies that are all are really low on health, they'll be automatically killed by this curse. So definitely nice and handy if enemies are really close to us, which they're going to be most of the time. We're going to be right in the middle of action and low health enemies will just die automatically. Nice. Blood rush for mobility and some speed increasing. Definitely great for getting out of situations where we're taking a lot of damage, which shouldn't be an issue. Bone armor, we definitely want to activate as soon as possible. So when we get in there, find a nice big pack so you can get your full stacks up and you want to definitely reactivate this as we go when it's available just to keep the stacks up so we've got maximum damage reduction and finally command skeletons when we are casting those skeletal mages and using grim scythe for damage here make sure that you cast your command skeletons to increase damage that much more it'll make things a lot quicker for this challenge rift that's pretty much it rinse repeat make sure you got plenty of skeletal mages up use your grim scythe to regenerate your essence make sure that bone armor is always on max stats don't have to worry about frailty it's an aura it does everything automatically for you blood rush to get out of situations and to have a bit of movement speed increase throughout the challenge rift and then keep an eye on command skeletons just make sure you cast them make sure that they're in that frenzy mode so that way you benefit from some damage increases that's pretty much it nice and easy i'm gonna do it in a second so that way i'm not just babbling like an idiot you can watch me do it and then you can go and smash the time as well looking into the passives really quickly draw life swift harvesting aberrant animator and extended fortitude 
let us go we are almost back to 100 percent no more man flu so many videos I want to pump out for you all let's start with the challenge rift though as usual on a tuesday all right all right all right we are in let's do this so as you can see i immediately blood rush to a nice big pack try and activate bone armor so you can get a max max full stack if not, it doesn't matter because you will get it pretty much your second shot. And there we go. I got 10 stacks of bone armor. So I got maximum damage reduction. And I'm casting those mages whenever possible. Skeletal mages whenever possible. And if you're around a dense pack, there's a lot of enemies around. Then using Grim Scythe will regenerate that essence so quickly. And you'll be fine. Keeping in mind, you can only have a maximum of 10 skeletal mages up at once. So once you spam it enough times, you can wander around a bit and just use some Grim Scythe. And make sure command skeletons are in that frenzy mode. And that's pretty much it. I don't spend too much time on the trash. I, I do try and focus on elites. However, if it's a nice dense pack, I will try and take it out. Because Grim Scythe does a lot of damage for enemies that are nearby. That we can actually attack in melee range. So, But little stragglers like that, I just go straight past. And don't forget you got Blood Rush too. Make things go a bit quicker and get out of these situations where enemies might block you in. Otherwise, I don't know if anyone's been struggling with the time. Let me know in the comments below if you've struggled with the time. This is like the second time I've gone into this challenge rift. First time was just to scope out where the elites are. Second time was just demolish it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And there's the last floor that we're going to be on is pretty much the most critical where a couple pylons are once we get to those pylons there's like three or four elite packs there and once we take them out we just save so much time there's just orbs everywhere and as you can see damage reduction is not an issue at all just damage output isn't the best but this plaque would definitely work on that with some legendary stats but then again, you've got to focus on making sure that you've got Ancients equipped into the, all those slots for the Legacy of Nightmare. So it's not exactly an easy an easy build to deal with Legacy of Nightmare's rings. You have to make sure everything's Ancient. Make sure we've got all those orbs there. And this is pretty much the floor, floor two, where we're going to really save a lot of time soon. You'll see in a moment, there's a couple pylons coming up. Lots of action, lots of action. Give me those orbs. Move! Alright, so here's the pylon here that we want to definitely click on. And now we're going to really save some time here. We're really going to smash through these elites. What you could try to do as well is just hightail it straight to that pylon and then backtrack. You might actually shave off some more critical seconds that way. I'm not trying for an awesome time. I just want to finish this. I've got to go to work. So I want to show everyone how to do it, especially people that are struggling with it. This is the basic way that you're going to definitely pass. Shouldn't have an issue with the time. As you can see, we're pulling away very comfortably. But if you're looking to beat the time, I would really highly recommend as soon as you come onto this rift floor, hightail it to those pylons, click on them, and then backtrack back, and you'll smash through those elites so quickly. And with any luck when you're backtracking, you should summon the rift guardian, and you'll make a good time. I actually want to, I wouldn't mind trying that strategy, but I'm not going to have time. I've got to go. I've got to go. I'm a busy man. Now, the Rift Garden should pop any moment now. There we go. <sighs> and the Rift Garden, as you can see, is quite annoying. The damage output just isn't good enough to smash through him quick enough. And I'm using everything I can here. Skeletal Mages. My command skeletons, Grim Scythe, it's just, yeah. 
There's just no quick way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. But otherwise, damage reduction is awesome for this build and it wasn't an issue at all. As you can see, 45 seconds left to go. Cha-ching, cha-ching, another week, another challenge rift with your creepy damn uncle, Bannock13. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Once again, thank you for everybody that wished me a speedy recovery and to get well soon last week. It means a lot. Really felt the love there. I'm nearly back to 100%. Definitely want to pump out videos. I've got movies to talk about, TV shows to talk about, lots of Diablo 3 stuff, my God of War Platinum Trophy, and of course, some upcoming games that I'm really excited about. It's all coming up in the next couple weeks, so make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to stay up to date with all the latest creepy news. You can always subscribe.